Um, and I kept having to sort of... Um, I'd want to play ambiguous more, and they were always trying to veer me to be a bit more good and a bit more... So when I eventually did get to blow the cell doors off and be a baddie, I had so much more fun. <laughs> and they showed me my costume, and of course it was black. Uh, so you're bad now, mm -hmm. so you've gone from being in silver, which was good, and now you've got a black chainmail. He's like, ah, oh, brilliant, you're clever. Uh, and it was just so much good, you just get to stand and look moody and have great lines. Whereas when you're good, you're like, Arthur, are you okay, my lord? Um, when you're evil, you get to be like, I want his head on a spike. <laughs> that was never in Berlin, but um, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Next question. Yes, you in the front. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hi. Uh, did you and the other cast members pull pranks on each other? Uh, yeah, um, I never got pranked and I never did the pranking, <laughs> but I witnessed pranks. <laughs> um, uh, one thing that one of the ones I remember is um, um, I think, if, forgive me for if, I, if I'm repeating myself from another convention or some type, but. Um, Tom Hopper loves Nature Valley bars. Do you know they're, 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 like, a, they're like a sort of nutrition bar? Yeah. So Tom Hopper loves his nutrition bars because of his impeccable guns. <laughs> and, uh, and he used to buy boxes of them and he'd keep them in his dressing room. And Bradley knows that Tom likes these particular bars. And when Tom was filming, Bradley snuck into his dressing room and emptied loads of the packets all over his dressing room. <laughs> so as if as if they were all eaten, but obviously Bradley just took the, the bars and put them in his own room. So <laughs> Tom opens the door. What? <laughs> um, and yeah, so basically, I, mostly it was always Bradley that was that was the the, the, the prank. Uh, so yeah, that was my best example. I've got nothing else. I'm so sorry. That's fine. You're you're content with that. One. Okay, good. Yes, you. Say that again? What kind of fabric, you know, costumes? Fabric? What kind of fabric was used on Merlin? Yeah, well, what, what, what are the most used uh, fabrics for the clothes you wear? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you are asking the wrong person. <laughs> uh, nice fabric? <laughs> nice and uh, pretty? <laughs> And I know the clips were red. Um, I'm so sorry, that was, I, I got nothing for you. They were lovely though. <laughs> did you, did you know, uh, what now, who designed uh, the clothes and uh, make your makeup? Yes, um, so Jane Spicer, uh, she was the, the, the costume mistress um, for, I think she might have done, I think she might have come on series four maybe, series five. So um, she was, yeah, she was, um, she was a pro man. And um, <laughs> um, um, I don't know if you know this, but like um, Bradley's got um, like a little black, like little black ring around his hood of his chainmail, and some of us don't. And it's because when you're fighting, it, it does this all the time. So, um, so if you if and I saw it and I was like, that's pretty cool. I was like, can I get a black ring around my hood? <laughs> and James was like, yes, yes, you can. So basically, my answer is that she is amazing because she gave me what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next question. Yes, you in the hood. Um, what was it, um, what's your favourite uh, costume of the entire series? Favourite costume of the entire series? For myself? Yes. So the, 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 my, and the one when I was neither a knight nor an evil knight. The, my, my first one, which was fur. I think it was fur. And I had like a, I had like a medieval snood. <laughs> I had a bigger scarf than Merlin, which was good. <laughs> 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 um, Crazy boots. Yeah, it was great. Gloves, druid stuff, druid necklace. It was amazing. So that was my favorite costume. But my favorite costume of everyone. Oh. Morgana's dress. What? Morgana's, Morgana's dress. dress. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it was very buxom, wasn't it? Um, uh, I don't know what that was. I don't know why I started talking about it. Uh, next question. Hello. Yes. Um, Mordred is probably the only one that actually ages. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> very, very observational. <laughs> so 
smart one, this one. Smart one. She's been watching it, yeah. Did you watch the older episodes? And yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. yeah. Um, too much, basically. When I found <laughs> out, I got it. Um, I had a little bit of a panic because um, I, when you when you get an acting job, you're usually the first and only person to play that part. Um, and even if it's a well-known part, it's a different series altogether, so you get to take your own spin on it. Um, Never, and, and usually in theatre, mostly, it's usually in theatre that you're, you, if you're an understudy or you're taking over from someone, you have to um, be very um, intrinsic with your detail about what you're, how you're taking over that person's part. So what I did was I adapted the method of doing, taking over from someone's part in theatre and turning it to sort of telly. So I just basically watched Asa on any YouTube video and downloaded series one and two onto my iTunes and watched all of his episodes just so I could just I didn't want to mess up basically I think that's what I'm trying to say I didn't want to mess because um, I can remember like when I got the part people were going how can it 21 year old well 23 year old actor Welsh <laughs> Welsh but how can you take over but I, at the time no one knew that there was a three year time jump for series five which still doesn't quite explain it, but um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I just tried really hard to sort of not mess up, really, and I, I sort of know how how angry you, you, know, you can get when someone who's loved then can't come back and has to be replaced by someone. So I just tried my hardest to to do well, I think. And, this, uh, and mostly in the first three episodes, or the first two episodes, really tried to sort of make sure that I wasn't just doing something completely different to what Issa would have done, do you know what I mean? Really trying to focus on what he does. And then, and then as the series progressed, become more of myself. So yeah, that's what I've to. No, you did a good job. I did a good job. Yeah. Thank you very much. You can come again.